Okay, so for class we talked about composition and we went over th four different kinds of compositions and I'm going to just kind of illustrate them to get the basic idea of how they work. So one of the compositions we went over was um, called rule of thirds. So what that is about is um, I have my picture plane and I'm going to divide it into three sections. So I have three sections here, three sections here, oh, kind of in thirds. It's a little bit off. But um, anyways, where those third sections cross, like here, 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 or here, that is an excellent place to put a focal point. Or even if you put something in the one-third margin right over here, that is rule of thirds. Um, okay, so rule of thirds, uh, the good place for a focal point. Okay, another one we went over is called L-shape. So L-shape composition is where you have things hugging two sides of the picture plane. So, you know, creating an L like this. So there's a lot of activity happening in here, maybe not much activity happening over here, or vice versa, you can have a lot of things here and a pretty open space over here. So this is called L-shape, and this is rule of thirds. All right, another one we talked about was pyramid composition. That's where you have your picture plane and it um, essentially kind of comes into a point. So you have a lot of things here, and then it comes into a point over here. Often, like Renaissance art, they use a lot of pyramid compositions in their artwork. And the last one um, we also talked about was symmetrical composition. So symmetrical composition is you divide a picture plane in half, it could be half this way, it could be half that way, or even diagonally, and um, where it is evenly spaced out. So if I have something over here, I can have something over here, and it doesn't matter if it is like I got a circle and a square here, they're still roughly the same shape, the same value, and therefore balance out equally. So that would be a symmetrical composition. So your assignment that we had um, associated with this is we did this exercise. This is on pages 39 and 40 in your book. And what I want you guys to do is go through each of these and list that if you think it's L-shape, excuse me, symmetrical, rule of thirds, or pyramid. And so um, some of these, like here we got the puppy. If you don't know what it is, a good way to think about it is what is your focal point and where is that focal point located? So the puppy dog is sitting right here, and it's sitting at that one-third mark. So that would be a rule of thirds. Um, let's see, some of them can be more than one, like this flower down here. Um, if I divide this in half, this is a symmetrical composition, and our focal point is right here, sitting at that one-third mark. So that's also rule of thirds. Um, or let's see, other ones that catch students up. So. Excuse me, these two, um, for some reason, always catch students. Um, just because you see a reflection in water doesn't mean it's symmetrical. It, it, because like if I divide this in half this way or this way, it, it's still not symmetrically balanced. Um, but where is that focal point? So here's the ship, it's sitting at that one third mark on the paper. Or in this crane, I, right here, it's sitting at one third here and one third there. So anyways, go through them, um, think about them uh, here on this page, you know, here we got a nice pyramid composition. And so, okay, that is it. And when you're done with them, just take a picture and make sure you submit them on Canvas.